Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the fruit shop inventory management system in Java. This, will, uh, this one will be the small system here. Uh, these are the fruits available in our shop. Here, if you want banana, it asks the quantity. If you give the quantity as 10, click OK. Here, uh, each banana price should be displayed 12. This is the quantity 10 entered. It's a total display, right? The pineapple entered 2, here display. Apple, 3, display. Mango, 1, display, right? His subtotal should be calculated and display the subtotal. Uh, this kind of simple system how to do step by step i'll be teach right if you uh, come to my channel for the first time today is the first time please subscribe me right now let's go to our lesson first go to the file new select java application click next if it is check create main class you have to uncheck it here i'm going to name the project as fruit shop fruit shop Give the name as fruit shop click finish right now your project has been created successfully with the name of fruit shop now here your project folder consists of two major folders source package and libraries first i'm going to select the source package if you expand it here I'm, there will be the default package i'm going to create the new package select this package right click new package i'm going to create as fruit you can uh, give any name I'm, i just give as a fruit as a package name after create the package click the package right click new form i'm going to create the new form fruit i just give as a fruit class as fruit finish switch. right now your new form has been created this is successfully uh, now what i'm going to do is see i'm going to increase the size of the form little bit look like this right now first what i'm going to do is here i'm going to make the id right so edit what i'm going to do is here uh, first i'm going first i'm going to drag one panel to the form this panel i'm going to increase the size like this here we have to right click properties i'm going to change the background color as blue right this background perfect right this is the adder the same thing i'm going to give the footer color footer color we have to the same uh, panel i'm going to drag below this one should be a footer color i'm going to put right simple this one should be a i'm going to call the subtotal and everything the same color i'm going to properties background color i'm going to give the same color here this color perfect right perfect now what i'm going to do is here inside here we have to do the things right here we have to do the things is it after that what i'm going to do is here i'm going to go go to the palette drag one panel here select this panel properties border select as this one soft, uh, soft bevel border click ok close right. here i am i'm going to drag one uh, j table this one drag it right. here what i'm going to see we have to arrange the size simply you arrange the size drag, uh, arrange the size here Same uh, J tables, I have to get another J table for here. I have to do two J tables. Right. Okay, this one, the footer part here, right. Perfect. Right. Okay. Here, first, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to, these are the fruits, right? I'm going to select the fruit from here. So, select the J table, uh, table contents, go to the row, default row, we have to select and delete it. Right. I need only one column, so go here. This column we need no needed. Only we need one column. Select this one. This one should be the fruit. Add adding we have to put as fruit. Right, close it. That's the thing we have to write. Close it. Right. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Right. Okay. Now after that, what I'm going to do is here. Uh, we have to uh, dra drag one. Uh, label above here we have to edit text this one should be the fruit shop fruit shop okay fruit shop right select this name properties uh, font we are going to we have to increase the size of uh, 24 
Okay, enough for that. Right, enough. It's enough. Yeah, enough. The fuel need much bigger. We have to increase as 36. It is enough. Right, 36. With color, we have to change it as a this color. White. Perfect. Now it's perfect. Right, it's perfect. Right. Now select this one. Select the form. Code. Generate center. Make it as generate center. Then only it's when the project is run, it's run at the center. Very simple one. Right? It's an empty one. Now what I'm going to do is here. I'm going to go to go here. Uh, we have to do the remaining stuff. The item uh, price, quantity and total. We have to uh, change the titles of the uh, JTable 2. Here we have this one should be default rows we have to remove it keep blank right like this right that's the efficient way so first one should be the item fruit item second one should be the price third one should be the quantity fourth one should be the total fourth one should be the total right perfect right now what i'm going to do is here select the j table this one j table when the j table is loaded uh, all the fruit items should be loaded right so before that we have to do another thing is the subtotal here we have to uh, put one text field right so we have to increase the size of the text field look like this right so here first the label we have selected this one should be subtotal select the subtotal uh, text box properties font with bold change as 24 This one should be text also with bold 24 or 36 you, have to, you can give 36 or 24 I just give as a 36 so sorry we have to do this right. the 24 is enough for that right perfect now we have to select this uh, label we have to change the color as right click properties foreground color I am going to change it as a uh, white here uh, this one text box select properties you have to change the foreground color as uh, this one yellow and background color we have to change it as a white to black it's very nice color right now here default text right click edit text backspace to remove the existing text again select the text box right click change variable you have to give as a txt sub these are the modification you have to make right now very simple now you can check here very professional you if you spend more time you can design this uh, form very nicely because uh, if i uh, design this more uh, take too much time to uh, look nice uh, the video is so lengthy so that i have to manage the video time so that i this is enough for the design now let's go to the uh, code part right so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to load the uh, table right j table one so go to the so source first here first what i'm going to do is here you have to write here here after the initialization component we have to write the public method public void this one you have to name it as a method i'm going to write fruit right method right fruit method i'm going to write a method name is fruit right okay this method name i had a fruit fruits right fruits right fruit. now here first what i'm going to do is here first uh, i'm going to do the stuff is we have right here first we have to implement the default table default table mod default table model this one you have to write as a model equal new this one model control c to copy control v to paste here this one model right now you have to uh, import the namespace model right perfect now after that we have to get the model here equal we have to write here is a this one control c to copy control v to paste here uh, we have to write j table one dot get model get model here you have to write here is more uh, get model here we have to write as a uh, model 
dot arrow you have to write arrow new you have to write as an object you have to write like this object you have to write like this object you have to put like this uh, you have to write like this now here first what I am going to do is here we have to open and close right this one should be there right, right. open and close right. Right. right now here we have to write like this here we have to write first one should be there uh, we have to write as a banana First, we have to write a uh, writing as a banana. First fruit name here we have to design as a banana. Can you see the copy? Can you paste it? Banana. Right? Now the same thing we have to paste it below. Right? The same thing. Model. Right? First one I am going to add as a banana. So write control C to copy this one. Control V to paste below. Second one I am going to uh, do the thing as pineapple. Control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Third one, control C to copy. Uh, control V to paste here. Third one should be uh, apple uh, apple right fourth one should be kind of seed copy kind of bit paste here fourth one should be this one mango kind of seed copy kind of bit paste here. they're very simple right these are uh, these uh, things are added into the table model right so uh, it is j table one mean it's all the stuff added with one with one uh, one by one right of the j table let's run the program uh, it's not working because when the form uh, when the form is run this function get called so control seed copy this function when the form is initialized component after initialized component you get called okay now here here it's working fine right. if you uh, if you wish to increase the size of the font select this one right click properties font default come as 12 bold 40 now let's check see it's working fine okay it's working fine All right now what i'm going to do is here i'm going to go to uh, the next step is i'm going to go to do the stuff is select the uh, data j uh, table one uh, one event mouse mouse click event right here we have to write the code for that right if the if you uh, select the uh, uh, J table list from the item select the item and price orders should, should be added into the uh, J table to here right that same time price uh, subtotal should calculate it at below here so how to do the task is here you have to write first is I'm going to write uh, int uh, num equal zero I have initializing the variable zero after that what I'm going to do is here uh, I'm going to uh, write the things as first int fruit I'm going to create the variable as fruits, right? Fruits. I'm going to create the variable as fruits, right? Equal j table one dot get selected row. Get selected row. Your selection. Right, perfect. After that, what I'm going to do is here int price equal. Sorry, we no need to equal. After that, int quantity of right three variables like this, right? This one, this j table get selected row. It is when the item you are selected here. What is the item you selected here? Uh, from this j, j table, it is equal into this variable fruits, right? So here, uh, in j table, these are the items should be. Uh, one by and by display here first item should be see the position one two three like this position will be going so what i'm going to do is here you have to simply first if now right here fruit equal equal zero mean first item if it is card starting point zero it's not a fruits fruits this one fruits right every zero position mean uh, we have to price we have to give here as 12 banana quantity we have to uh, we have to uh, quantity in order to calculate the quantity we have to write the uh, input box so we have to write here is uh, j option pan dot show input dialog input dialog here right here as enter the quantity enter the quantity right. 
after the part I am going to see it, you have write here sir, model equal the same thing default model, control C to copy control V to paste here, default model you have write here, this is, it is adding into the J uh, table to table to dot get model J table table to dot get model get model after that you write int dot t equal price multiply by quantity right. after that what I am going to see we have write here is model dot add row new object like this, you write like this, you have to open and close bracket. Now here we have to write yes. Uh, if it is zero mean, if it is zero mean, what is the position? First one should be the banana. If it is zero mean, first one should be the banana should be added in the here, columns, right? Item should be first column. You have to write here is banana. You have to write like this, comma. After that price, second one should be the price, this price should be, you have to write this variable, control C, copy, control V, paste. What is the price we are given here? We are assigning to a, it is stored in this variable, it is getting. After that, what is the quantity you are entering, uh, enters from the show input dialog, right? Uh, uh, when you click the uh, uh, J table fruit, what is the fruit you are selected, uh, the input box will be displayed, you enter the uh, quantity how much you need the quantity should come quantity should be assigned to the variable quantity here we have to get it here quantity finally get to total dot right that's it that's it that's the thing perfect after that what i'm going to do is here same thing control c to copy control v to paste below this one should be else if this one should be 1, this one should be 15, here also second one should be pineapple, control C to copy, control V to paste here, right. After that same thing, we have to other stuff are same, right, we have to only change the uh, throat name only, after that same thing, control C to copy, control V to paste below, this one should be 2 mean, uh, 2 mean, after that, Apple, control C to copy. This one should be the Apple, right? Apple. Price I'm going to put as 20, right? After that, same thing, control C to copy, control V to paste here. Third one should be 30. This one should be, you have to write here is mango. Control C to copy. This one should be mango, right? Perfect. Now what I am going to do is here, I am going to write here is, you have to write the 4, so let's run and check whether it is working fine or not, click, perfect, 2, it is added successfully, right, pineapple, 3, it is added successfully, apple, 3, added successfully, mango, 1, it is added working successfully here, right, now I need to calculate the subtotal, how to calculate the subtotal is, it is very easy stuff, you have to calculate the subtotal, so what I am going to do is here, we already initialized the variable above num equals 0. Now here first what I am going to do is here. After that we have to write here. Write the for loop for int uh, int i equal 0. After that i less than j table 2 dot get row count i plus plus right. after that you have to write here is sum equal sum plus integer dot pass int j table 2 dot get value at i3 
dot to string right right now here now here what is the problem is we have to uh, here we have to this variable i am going to put as sum int sum equal zero right now it's working right now here it's all uh, i uh, i comma three mean position of position of uh, j table three starting from zero position one two third position i am going to calculate and get the subtotal here right so position of three display at which text box you have display out of the loop you have write txt sub dot uh, set x set x we have go uh, set x we have write here is a uh, string dot value of we have to this one some control c to copy control v to paste here, right this sum should be displayed okay here this is a name we have to give here txt sub right very fine code this one we have to study very proportional system i made it now let's run and check whether it's working fine or not banana to here second pineapple here it's calculated the subtotal successfully right okay it's working successfully uh, i hope you guys you understood the things well uh, while doing this program if you get any doubt you can ask me any time if you i hope this channel should be helpful for your uh, future projects if you like my uh, channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching